beautiful Leos and welcome to your Leo plus Gemini love reading for the month of January 2023. We are going to be looking into feelings, actions, outcome and ending oracle for any of my Leos who are connecting to, curious about and or interested in a Gemini. So Let's get started and into it. I have Leo on this side, Gemini on the other. Gemini, you are most welcome to cross-watch this reading as well. Please do keep in mind, both of you, that for some of you, the reading can resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. So please assign the roles as you wish. Take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So let's get started and into it. Please show me Leo's feelings for Gemini. And Gemini's feelings for Leo. All right, let's get started. Um, Leo, your feelings are justice. The Four of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. All right, Gemini's feelings for you are the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups, hmm, and the Devil. Okay, Leo, let's start off with you. You have Justice, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. It's looking like you don't feel like you're getting what you need from this Gemini. Um, you may be feeling a bit ignored, or you may just be, be feeling like you were done wrong with this Justice to the Four of Cups. You do look like you are trying to keep this energy at a distance emotionally, whether you are physically in this person's energy or not. It does not necessarily matter. It looks like you're really trying to emotionally distance yourself because you do feel a bit wronged by this person. And it's almost like your energy doesn't know what to do about it. You just know you want to f distance yourself emotionally while you figure out how to go about this connection. This Gemini has the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil. So with this combination, unfortunately, this Gemini is definitely very, very strong in selfish nature. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this person is... I, I just keep hearing selfish. I feel like they like getting what they want from you, but when it comes to giving you what you need and what you want, their energy comes up short. But when they want something, they're all here. They're all talkative. They're all giving because it's, they want something. I feel as though this energy could be a bit toxic to you. They're almost aware that they're toxic and they don't care. So that could be a bit dangerous. Um, I get this energy that they're very attached to you. But with the devil here, it's not a healthy attachment. And with the nine of cups, it's looking like if it's full on selfish. And I feel as though you feel it and I see your distance emotionally. But I still get a contemplation mode from you. Um, you know, this person does have obsessive tendencies as well. But it's not on the spectrum of feeling good with it. It, it, it feels good for them. But I'm not sure how, how great it feels for you. Uh, let's see the future actions towards each other for January. Can you please show me Leo's future actions towards Gemini and Gemini's future actions towards Leo? It's like you're this Gemini's wish fulfillment, but not in a way that you'd want to be, if that makes sense. Hmm. Let's see. Leo, your actions are the Five of Swords. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Their actions towards you are the High Priestess, hmm, Judgment, and the Five of Wands. Ooh. 
There could be some drama with a Gemini this month. Honestly, their actions towards you are the High Priestess, Judgment, and the Five of Wands. I feel like this person tries to put on a facade towards you. I get them um, creating some challenge for you this month. Five of Wands, you have the Five of Swords. You two may find yourselves a bit argumentative. Honestly, Leo, you look like you want to heal with this person. You have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. You want to get over whatever problems there are, and you just want to see this connection get better. I don't feel like this Gemini is going to give that to you. I feel like they're almost just creating more challenge. There could be other people involved. The Five of Wands is a multitude of people arguing. So there could be an energy of other energies involved and it's underneath the devil. So that's really not the position I would like to see it come in on at all. I uh, get this Gemini causing you a bit of stress. Their future actions towards you don't look the greatest. Clarify the High Priestess judgment to the Five of Wands. So we have the High Priestess to the Fool. Judgment to the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. And the Five of Wands to the Three of Swords. Y'all, Gemini may break your heart this month. Ouch. The Three of Swords to the Five of Wands as their actions towards you. This Gemini is going to cause some hurt. Yeah. I feel like they've already have. I think it's just happening again. I don't think this person is learning their lesson. Um, can you please show me what Leo's actions are? Clarify the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. I'm not necessarily sure how much you are holding this person accountable for their actions. And I feel like that's why they feel like they could just keep doing things over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, let's see. You have the sun. So you know that this person is stressful. Six of swords to the king of pentacles. But you want them to be stable for you. Eight of wands to the lover. So you don't look like you want to let go of this connection at all. Um, let's see. The lovers here. Three of pentacles. You want to make it work with this person. I am not going to lie. It doesn't look like they want to make it work really that much. What's the three of swords here as their actions? The devil. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Oh. Oh, Lordy. Why is the devil here, please? On Gemini's actions towards Leo. You got double energy of devil on their side. Holy moly, the moon. Mm. This person? What are they hiding? What's the moon? Why is the moon here? What are they hiding? What are they hiding from Leo? Queen of Wands. I think this person is hiding that they get attention from other people. I don't know how hidden it's going to be, though, because... Their actions towards you don't look the greatest. You, I'm, you look like you're, you're just, well, that's fine. Gemini still want to be with you. It, that's how it looks. You look like, you know, the sun to the five of swords, you know that this person is wasting your time. You know, you should give up on this person, but you are not. That's what it looks like. So let's see what the um, outcome is going to be between the two of you. What's the outcome for Leo and Gemini for January? All right. Your outcome is the Ace of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. And the Hermit. It's like somebody's deciding to not work on this connection as much anymore. Why is the hermit here? The four of swords. Yeah, there's like a resting period or like a break or a timeout or something like that from some sort of commitment or from some sort of working on a commitment. Why is the hierophant here? Clarifying that. Queen of wands. 
Somebody, I don't think this person is ready for the commitment that you want from them, Leo, or that I don't think this person is ready from, for the commitment that you're ready for. And I think, I feel that during January, that's going to become as clear as day, but I'm not necessarily, despite it being clear, you still look like you want to work on this. Some of you may be moving towards a different connection and dropping this person, but you want to work on something, it looks like. Let's see what the Oracle is. Please show me one for Leo, one for Gemini. All right, Leo, you have tribe. So your spiritual tribe is really trying to help you out. There could be a connection to elephants. They have also material world. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person only cares about what you could do for them opposed to anything else. Clarify tribe and material world. Some of you Leos are a lot more... I guess, stable in life than this person is. So you have understanding. So your tribe is really trying to give you some answers. They're trying to get you to understand what's going on here. And they have material world to free will. Clarify this once more. One for Leo, one for Gemini. You have understanding to muse. So... Your tribe is trying to get you to understand that this connection, oh, sorry, this connection is in your life for you to be more inspired by yourself and have more self-love. Whether you're understanding that or not, I'm not sure, um, but that's what your tribe is trying to get you to see, that you are a beautiful, amazing individual and you do not need this person's energy to tell you that or to give you that. Because I don't really feel like they are. Or they do it in a very inconsistent way. They have free will to vibrations. So I feel like this person feels this attachment to you. Because they feel like you are just better off in life. And they want that from you. They can. This person could definitely be an energy vampire. Um, Leo, you have a flyer on yours with healing. Yeah, spirit definitely giving you the guidance to heal. They have vibrations to awakening awakening to barrier. Yeah. This person is, that's the issue here. They're not working on themselves. They're just trying to suck out your energy instead of work on themselves. So that could be a bit difficult, but that's what I have in terms for Leo and Gemini. Um, with the cards we have out, the Zodiac signs in the chart that could also, that are in your spread, that could also be in your two charts. They have such strong Capricorn over here and really strong Pisces. We also have Aries, Libra, and Taurus, and Gemini, and Virgo. So I really have everybody here. So let's see what your advice is with the Lover's Oracle for Leo and Gemini's. So this is your card, and it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. Exactly, Leo. Spirit wants you to really find the inspiration and the love with yourself opposed to needing it specifically to feel like someone else is passionate about you. They want you to find that courageous power within because I feel like you do look amazing and I almost feel like this person feels that way too and that keeps them attached to you too where, you know, like... Those people that don't want you to move on, but they don't want to do anything right either, could be dangerous. That's what I have, Leo and Geminis. For some of you, this could be backwards, reverse, flipped. So please assign the roles as you wish. If you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it's not up yet, do subscribe and ring that bell to all so you are alerted of the Zodiac Signs reading release you are looking for. Thank you. I love you all so, so very much. Have a good one. Bye now.